Are you time poor? Feeling like you're always running out of time? Feeling like there's not enough hours in the day? Keep watching because I'm going to share with you the two things that have made the biggest influence on my time management. Now, before you start thinking, how is she pressed for time? I bet she doesn't even have kids. I actually started my first business when my kids were toddlers, they're now teens. I was in a high stress corporate position, which regularly took me out of state. I was studying for my MBA. And no, I don't have a nanny and I didn't have a living help other than my husband. And yeah, we all survived, including my marriage. I just wanted to welcome the new subscribers to my channel. We all started somewhere and I am so grateful that you are starting this journey with me. Now, if you want to learn how to grow a successful business, but want to know how to drive the people in it, not just make the sales, then you'll want to subscribe to this channel. Because it is all about what drives the people that make business successful. And I'd also love to know what you find fill up your days in your business by leaving a comment below. Now, let's jump into those two things that I focused on, which really upped my time management and stick around for the end for some quick changes that you can make right now. But I just don't have enough time. I'm time poor, I need more hours in a day. Look, I wish I had a magic wand to be able to give you that extra time, but I don't. But I do have the ways that I used to make it feel like I had more time. And that's the key. Here's the thing, if you constantly feel like you don't have enough of something, you won't. It's really a glass half empty approach to time management. Consider this. You have a friend who's always negative. They can't see any good in anything. They're always moping. Bad things are always going wrong. If they can only see the negative, then that's all they'll find. Now, think about time. Yes, I know we all have the same number of hours in the day, but how do you value those hours? Do you believe that they'll just slip through your fingers? Do you think that they'll whiz by? Or do you think that you have all the time in the world, all the time that you need, and that time is on your side? Which would you prefer? This is the first thing that I did that changed the way I was able to use my time. I changed my mindset. Look, <clears throat> I have a couple of playlists and you can access those through my channel on time theory. But I want to break it down for you. If you don't think you have enough time, you won't. If you're constantly worrying about not having enough time, you won't. I know it sounds stupidly simple and yes, I've had days where the old I don't have enough time keeps creeping back in, but I catch myself. So how did I fix it? This was first introduced to me by Gay, Gay Hendricks in The Big Leap. It's this thing about Einstein time. And Professor Brian Cox goes through this really well. But the trick that I use outside of understanding the theory, because I like to know what happens behind something, the trick that I use is one deep breath and a simple reminder that I have all the time in the world to do this. And I do. Now, if you're a bit of a procrastinator, and just look, 
Now I have more time to do nothing in. Well, technically you're right. But let's tackle that procrastination bit. The first issue is why you procrastinate. And generally that comes from fears. Things like the fear of failure, imposter syndrome, perfectionism. Gosh, I don't want to go on and on and weigh you all down. Addressing those is a whole other chat that I'm going to have with you. But let's tackle that never-ending to-do list. That was my key procrastination and how I got around that. I admit that my to-do list used to stop me in my tracks. It was my biggest source of overwhelm. And it never got any shorter because I kept adding to the bottom until I did this one thing. I started a bullet journal. Don't stress. It isn't pretty. This thing is a practical time management tool. And it's also a business management tool. In it, I have what drives myself, my business, my clients. I do quarterly business activity planning. I have a monthly calendar. And I have a weekly day to a page. I'm going to pop up a photo just quickly for you. I can hear you asking two things. I don't have time for that. And couldn't you just buy one? No, I couldn't just buy one. I wanted everything in one book one place because that was the source of my overwhelm. I had pieces of paper everywhere. I had diaries and planners and lists and it was all over the shop. I needed it all in one place. It's been a work in progress but now I've got it down into a system. The most it takes is about 90 minutes when I'm ruling up my new quarter plan. It's the start of the new month and I need a new week. So there's three things, right? But that's only four times a year. I spent more time than that looking for those documents, printing them and updating them every quarter. The week to the view shows me my business tasks, family commitments, all in one spot. Remember, I have two kids. I also track action items from my quarterly plan into my weekly plan, the income I've generated and what's coming up next week. The what's coming up next week is actually really quite brilliant because I can then move tasks that I would be doing next week into this week if I have extra time. What this is is a visual of my reverse engineering of my week. I start with these non-movables, these non-negotiables and add in the tasks that are due and I add in any tasks that are carried over and then I can look at the time that I have left and decide whether I want to take time off or schedule in some other work that I've had on my to-do lists. Not that I really have one of those anymore but I take the stuff from my quarterly planning and move those in. Doing this bullet journal keeps me organized. It reduces the long list and it allocates it out over time. It keeps me on track with the business objectives and it keeps me in line with what drives my business because they're right at the front of my journal. And if ever I feel like I'm moving or drifting off track, I can go back to them and check. Look, It's a perfect type A personality working life, to be honest. A place for everything and everything in its place. Now, the bonus things that I was talking to you about. I spent a lot of time working off of my laptop. One of the best things that I did was to install the Messenger app on my laptop. What that means is that I don't have to have Facebook open on my laptop, which is a massive time suck. I can have Messenger open and my friends and my family and my clients can still keep in contact with me, but there's no newsfeed distraction. I know there are newsfeed blockers, but I'd rather just not have it there at all, to be honest. So... Take one mind shift that says time is mine 
add in one killer way to get organized and to organize that time that is now yours and my time overwhelm is a thing of the past look have you heard about Einstein time do you use it I'd love you to leave a comment below or leave a comment with your favorite time management hack if you like this video I'd love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well so that you can be notified when the next video packed full of tips and tools and what drives you your business your staff your clients when that goes live